Alabama Crimson Tide Football, Tide hoping to get revenge over new rival Clemson, 2018. Alabama football drives the conversation here at the Rammer Jammer, SEC Country's daily Alabama athletics recap, but we'll cover news for every facet of the Crimson Tide. Every morning, we'll be here for the latest on Alabama football, basketball and every other sport on campus. Alabama and Clemson will meet for the rubber match in its recent rivalry. The winner moves on to Atlanta, where it will face the winner of Oklahoma vs Georgia. These two teams have met in the previous two editions of the college football playoff. Both of the previous two games have been decided by fewer than 10 points. The contest last season featured a last-second touchdown by Clemson to win. Alabama coach Nick Saban discussed the rivalry in his final press conference before the game. That heartbreaking loss still stings for Alabama. This past week, the Crimson Tide have been focused and hungry to win. The veterans decided on a strict 11 p.m. curfew for all but one of the days in New Orleans. The players are locked in, and revenge is something Alabama does better than almost everyone. Saban discussed the rise of defensive coordinator Jeremy Pruitt. Regardless of the outcome, defensive lineman Yamar King comes out as a winner for Alabama. Alabama running back Brian Robinson played Would You Rather with the rest of his teammates during media day. Alabama safety Minka Fitzpatrick has a special message behind his new tattoos. The Tide offered the son of Tennessee legend T. Martin, who is a quarterback in eighth grade. Alabama running back Damian Harris has a special love for a famous football movie. Jalen Hurts gets praise from Clemson. Last year, Alabama quarterback Jalen Hurts sprinted for a game-changing touchdown against Clemson with just over two minutes left. Even though Alabama ended up losing, it showed how much potential Hurts had as a freshman. This season. He's tried to make strides in the areas he needed to improve on. The Tigers believe that Hertz is an improved player this season, and see him as a big challenge. Dabo Swinney isn't a lock. Clemson coach Dabo Swinney has been pegged as Saban's replacement for when Saban plans to retire. Swinney lettered for Alabama from 1990-1992 and grew up in the state. The way he has built Clemson mirrors the program Alabama currently has. The Tigers have sustained success and continue to win despite losing players every year to the NFL draft. Even though Swinney may be an ideal choice as Saban's replacement, some believe he will stay with the Tigers. Among these believers is his son, Wakon Will Swinney. Big win under Avery Johnson. Alabama basketball struggled to perform up to expectations during its non-conference schedule. The Tide went 8-4 with losses to UCF, Minnesota. Arizona and Texas. Many question the identity of the team. On Saturday, Alabama put those concerns to bed, at least for one game. Five Texas A&M, 79-57, to earn its first win over a NAP Top 5 team since it beat Stanford in the 2004 NCAA tournament. It was the perfect way to start their SEC schedule. Alabama women's basketball lost to no.